As I said, I'm a healer. But my art of healing requires the culinary arts to be truly effective. The magic of my cauldron is its ability to make all kinds of medicines into dishes that patients can eat. When simmered and cooked together, any kind of medicinal herb or ingredient becomes a delightful delicacy. Delicacy? But isn't that just one flavor overpowering the others? Well, you have a point. Let me ask you this. If there's a fussy child who refuses to eat green peppers, what's the best way to make him eat them? Stuff the kid's mouth with the green peppers and cook him alive in a pot. <laughs> you have quite the sense of humor. I've heard that you, Borison, have lost many of your taste buds during the self-modification process, so you can't experience complex flavors. Only the saltiness of blood and flesh truly awakens your appetite. It's a shame I don't have any green peppers right now. Otherwise, I'd happily stuff them into your mouth and cook you alive in a pot. I'm just kidding. The answer is quite simple. Chop up the peppers and mix them with minced meat to make meatballs. This way, the flavor of the meat overpowers the taste of the peppers. And even a fussy child can enjoy them. Can I just boil your tongue in this hot pot? I know you're trying to buy time until someone comes to your rescue. You said that Jin Liu recently returned to the Lafu, right? Well, she did come back. But, unfortunately, I also found out that she committed serious crimes and was escorted to another Sienjo ship. Do you really think you can delay our departure? by provoking Lord Hule's desire for revenge with your clever little tongue. You see Borison as savages who know nothing about the Sienjo. But in fact, we know all about your tracking tricks. Like the jade abacus you're carrying, and the side cranes in the sky. <sighs> The more hope you hold in your heart, the greater your pain will be when death comes. I wonder if you can maintain your composure when I tear your throat open. This composure is only a temporary effect of the medicine. And it will wear off soon, right? Lord Hule! Oh, you pathetic Foxians. For thousands of years, we were the ones who allowed you to live, and who granted you civilization. But in the end, you chose to betray us for the freedom promised by the Xianzhou people. <laughs> but it's all right. As long as you catch the scent of your masters, you obediently return to us, no matter how far you run away. Hule, have you ever wondered why it took them seven centuries to come to your rescue? <sighs> the Borisans' era has long passed. Did they ever tell you these harsh facts? before giving you hope for returning home, Lord Hule. Now they're being crushed by the Merlin's claw of the Yao Qing, by a Foxian. They're hiding in remote corners of the cosmos, trembling with fear like a wounded beast on its last legs, reaching out desperately for any fake hope of salvation, which in this case is you. The Merlin's Claw of the Yao Qing. A Foxian? <laughs> Very interesting. Tell me, Mok Tok. 
Is he speaking the truth? He isn't lying. That lowly beast was a war slave who ran away from our pack. Cannon fodder, a thief! She stole our power and used her knowledge about us to fight us, using every dirty trick in the book! And she bested you, Mock Talk. Fairness is but a pathetic excuse for the dead and defeated. <clears throat> Since our great pack has fallen apart, who told you that I was alive? And who sent you here? In our darkest hours, it was a prophet of the Master of Immortality, named Mongus, who showed us the way. Her guidance brought us home. This prophet, Mongus, what does she want? The prophet made this proclamation. The Borison have been divided for too long. And only your return can unite all the packs, restoring us to our former glory. That's when we learned that you were still alive. It must have been a manifestation of the Master of Immortality. And the Prophet told us that the Foxy in general of the Yao Qing would take you to her ship during the La Fu's war dance and that it would be our best chance to infiltrate and free you from your prison. And just as she said, we did it. Even if you managed to set Hulei free, you'd have no way to escape. We've already prepared our ships, and the Prophet's prediction will surely come true. Once the news about the prison break spreads, the Cloud Knights will close all the ports. You may think you've escaped the prison, but you're just trapped in another cage known as the Law Fu. Let me kill this unruly, lowly beast, Lord Hule! I assure you that our star skiffs will soon arrive. Right now, everyone in the Law Fu is distracted by the stupid war dance. So this will be the perfect chance to escape! Once you've returned to your territory, the revenge against the Sienjo ships will be within reach! Perfect chance to return to my weak and shattered pack at the mercy of a ridiculous false prophet and become a mere puppet in her clutches. <laughs> her plan is full of flaws. The only paths she has prepared for you are escape and death. Listen up. A wolf never allows itself to become prey. From now on, you'll follow my orders. <laughs> Since you are so confident that the Cloud Knights will close the ports, Jiao Cho, I'm now giving you a chance to go and see it for yourself. Go to the ports, come back, and tell me what you saw. Wait, what did you just say? But my lord! Would an alpha wolf ever listen to a cob, Mock Talk? No, I've never heard anything like that. I... I wasn't trying to defy your will. I will always unquestioningly follow your orders. Just a little pre-hunt entertainment. Don't you want to run away? <laughs> you will come back. Because Foxians like you always obediently return to their masters no matter how far they run away. Perhaps I can try to warn the Cloud Knights. No. Perhaps I can just escape. Just as I suspected. 
He's testing me. The Cloud Knights must have been aware of the situation inside the Shackling Prison for some time. Will General Fei Xiao personally lead a squad to capture Hule? For now, I'll do as he asked. I'm sorry, but the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery is currently closed. All the officers and officials have been reassigned to assist in the war dance. If I can help you. <laughs> uh, Borison? Here? Are you serious? These Borison are disguised as Foxians. Please warn the Cloud Knights immediately. Will you please wait here for a while? I'll find a soldier. Stop asking. I'm off duty now. Go bother someone else. Can't you just stop asking? You're not one of us, but I smell a familiar scent on you. The Warhead sent me here to check on the situation. Not yet. There's no way for this tiny ship to escape from the Sienjo. Only the starships at Stargazer Navalia can break through the Jade Gate. Mokdok said there would be insiders to pick us up, but I haven't heard anything yet. The ports haven't been closed? What is going on? Stalling won't help. It's time to confront Hule and see what tricks he's up to. Hey there. I noticed you'd been looking at me for quite a while. Do you need my help? Could you please provide more details? Wait, I recognize you. You're the lost Yaoqing messenger. How are you here? I was brought here by the Borison. Please make sure to report this news. All right, I'll call for reinforcements. Would you like to board my star skiff? Well, my little star skiff can't accommodate that many. But I have a larger one that will arrive in less than 15 minutes if you need it. So, where would you like to go? We need to hurry wherever we're going. The war dance is about to start. And the Skyfaring Commission is prioritizing star skiffs heading to the Sky Splitter. Keep what quiet? <laughs> Come on, spill it if you have something to say. The Realm Keeping Commission? It's right up ahead. Uh, look, I've got a business to run, so why don't you go there yourself? Your 
that, Jiao Cho? Come and take a good look. Who are these people? This Cloud Knight says there's official business that requires my cooperation. What are you trying to do, Mok Tuck? They have nothing to do with this. Nothing to do? I told you to go to the port and check out the situation. But I never gave you permission to talk with others. Remember, these people died because of you. You want to prove to me that you hold everyone's lives in your hands, right, Hule? <laughs> oh, exactly as you said. So, have the Cloud Knights closed the ports? <laughs> no. Hmm. They don't want to publicize my escape. I understand. It's no surprise, for fear is more deadly than claws and fangs. Especially during a festive time like the war dance. What lurks here is not a group of fugitives, but rather a pack of wolves amidst the flock. My cubs are hungry, ready to feast on flesh and blood, reveling in your fear. Your calm facade will soon crumble. I can tear through it and expose your pathetic bones any time. There's no escape from me, Jiao Cho. Of course, you can try your luck and believe that your wits will save you. But remember, you're not the only hostage in this city. If you try anything funny, innocent people will die because of you. Now, let's talk about the Foxy in general you serve. Mokhtok says she's here for me, which means she'll be hunting me herself. Before the hunt begins, I need to know my opponent. You can refuse and play tough, or you can cooperate and save us both some time, healer. At least you didn't try to draw attention with a scream. That way, no one will die in vain. Fine. I'll tell you what you want to know about her. But I expect something in return. <laughs> what makes you think you're still in a position to negotiate with me? You can torture me until I talk. Or... Let's save us both some time. Warhead. Here's the question that's been bothering me. How have you managed to survive and endure centuries of torture? Borison aren't supposed to live that long. ...or possess such regenerative abilities. So... ...is that why the Xiangzhou Yao Qing wanted to take me away? <laughs> oh, to some, I'm a hostage. But to others... ...I hold the secrets they desire. Oh, I still remember... In the early years of my captivity, the Foxians came and went. They extracted my blood and marrow, trying to unravel the mystery of Moon Rage. They wanted to conquer their fear of the Borison, 
and free themselves from their bloodline. Unfortunately, they failed to uncover the secret. So, they resorted to the most brutal punishments they could imagine. Hmm. Some seek power to destroy their enemies, while others seek power to become their enemies. Which one are you, Chao Cho? Ah, I see. You're the most pitiful of them all, healer of the Yao Qing. You seek power to share it with others and do good. Well, then let me tell you the answer you seek. In our ancient legends, Duran, the ancestor of the Borzin, was dissatisfied with his limited lifespan and power. He yearned to dominate the skies and become the master of all the stars. To achieve his goal, he sacrificed the lives of countless Borisin and Foxians, pouring them into the spring bestowed by the Master of Immortality. Through a form of genetic sorcery, the water gave birth to a miracle. The Lunar Embryo. Duran ascended the birthing bed and obtained what he desired, a heart in the shape of a deep red full moon. He cut open his chest and replaced his original heart with this crimson moon. Laugh all you want, but only I know the truth behind every word. Mm. This moon heart beats within the body of every generation of the Borisim Warhead. In the ritual that decides the new Warhead, the successor cuts open the previous Warhead's chest and consumes the Divine Heart, thus possessing it as their own. Oh, devouring is the true essence of life allowing us to endure and thrive. It gathers the life essence of all the prey we consume, making us stronger and stronger. I thought all hope was lost after seven centuries of torment. But now, this heart is beating once again. <laughs> all right. Now it's your turn to tell me everything about the Merlin's Claw. Zhao Cho, I found you. I know I'm in no position to question your orders, but if I understand correctly, you already have intelligence about the Borison? That's right. My people are busy collecting clues now. What's the situation, Monza? General, before we completely lost contact with Zhao Cho, I picked up a signal from his Jade Abacus. It won't take long before we locate their whereabouts. If that's the case, shouldn't we immediately go there and join forces to eliminate the Borison? Why are we returning to Stargazer Nivalia? Looks like your general has only taught you swordplay not the art of the hunt. There's an old saying among the Borson. In the forest, the hunter may easily become the hunted. While we may call ourselves the hunters now, chasing them blindly will only make us become the prey. Are you joking, General? He's just a wolf who's been in prison for seven centuries. Even with his accomplices, they're no match for us numerous Lawfu Cloud Knights. How could he consider us his prey? Do not underestimate the enemy. Hule is not an ordinary Borison that can be easily killed. The advantage in numbers means nothing when we face that monster. 
A vicious beast who hasn't tasted blood and flesh in seven centuries is now lurking on the streets of the Lafu right before the war dance. This is what makes the situation treacherous and unpredictable. To him, the lives of ordinary people are just meat, ready to be devoured at any moment. Exactly. That is why we must succeed in our first strike, or the situation will spiral out of control. You've heard of this military tactic, right? When you surround your enemy, leave one side open for them to escape. A skilled hunter must be well prepared, waiting for the prey at the most advantageous position. What would we do if we were the escapees from the Shackling prison? While we can disguise ourselves and blend in with the crowd, we don't plan on staying here for long. In this case, what do we need most now? A star skiff to get us out of the Lafu. The Borison we discovered at Stargazer Navalia were actually preparing a vessel for their escape. We predict their next move, and we take them down. Let's start from where you found those Borison and corner our prey. This is where we ran into the Borison last time. It looks the same as usual. Because I blocked all the relevant news to make it seem as if nothing had happened. Losing contact with their accomplices preparing the Star Skiff will surely put them on guard. However, the more well prepared a plan is, the longer it takes to adjust when it's disrupted. If any Borson wants to stick to the original plan despite the risks, they'll surely come back to Stargazer Novalia to check the situation. Are you suggesting that there are Borison here at Stargazer Novalia right now? This is an automated area. So don't you think that there are a bit too many people here today? First, look at those two Skyfaring Commission staff members. They've been observing us in secret since we arrived here. Then, there's a Cloud Knight soldier over there. Perhaps he's here for patrol, but each patrol team must consist of two members. And obviously, he is not following the rules. Lastly, there's that craftsman wearing artisanship commission clothing. He's unusually focused on checking that device. If you have a target in mind, let's go investigate. Who are you? Don't you know that Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown now? Hey, chill out. They're just a few lost tourists. But Stargazer Navalia is the shipbuilding port of the Cienjo Lafu. If the Skyfaring Commission called for a lockdown, there should be official documents proving it, right? Official documents? <laughs> of course there are. The Cloud Knights are aware that some people have infiltrated this port. That makes perfect sense. So you're now investigating the Borison? Yeah. Well, we've received orders from the higher-ups, so we've blocked off this area to prevent any interference with our inspection. Thank you for your understanding. Hey, you there! Please refrain from wandering around Stargazer Navalia if you're not... Oh, it's you, Lieutenant Yenching. No, not at all. Actually, I'm here to address a peculiar issue. A peculiar issue? Yeah, we've had some unscheduled star skiffs being constructed at this dock in Stargazer Navalia. Could there have been an error in the production planning for the assembly line? This is just weird. I thought all the pending star skips from before the war dance had been scheduled already. I'm sorry, but I need to focus on my work right now. If you have any questions, we can discuss them later. <sighs> ah, Lieutenant Yanxing and uh, General Fischel. 
You're aware of the Boris in prison break, right? Yeah, I've received the news, and I'll be on the alert. Looks like you've been keeping an eye on the Sky Splitter. Have you noticed anything unusual? No. Everything is normal on the ship. Nothing out of the ordinary. This is not a location for a Cloud Knight on guard duty, is it? Well, this spot offers a great view. Are you here to keep an eye on the Sky Splitter? Yes. You've been observing the Sky Splitter for a while. Have you noticed anything? Honestly, just watching the ship from here isn't too thrilling. I wish I could go on board and witness Lieutenant Yen Ching's contests. Speaking of which, Lieutenant Yen Ching, aren't you supposed to be on the Sky Splitter? Is it alright for you to be here instead? Thank you for your concern, but I have more pressing matters to attend to. Oh. So, it seems that some Borison have returned to Stargazer Navalia in disguise. The answer seems quite obvious. That's my suspicion as well. Remember when I mentioned that the Cloud Knights blocked all relevant news to make it seem as if nothing happened? Stargazer Navalia is not under lockdown. But on the contrary, those staff members use Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown as an excuse to persuade us to leave. This contradicts the Cloud Knights' plans. Their flimsy disguise has been exposed. Even if they try to hide, there's no way they can escape us. Why are you still here? As I said, Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown now. No. I never issued such an order. Who are you? Perhaps you haven't met me on the battlefield, but I am certain you've heard my name. Now I'm asking you a question, so answer me. Tell me. How many more of your comrades are here? Where were you planning to meet Hule? This woman. She's the general of the Yao Qing. What are you still waiting for? Attack her! I hope for an end to procrastinate all together. Uh, that kind of ah, nothing. Step up, let's see ya. That won't do. Easy, Numby. Go, Numby! Show me what you can do. I'll never hesitate. May Song bring us victory. I venture forth to hunt. Forever. Triumphant! Victory is inevitable! That kind of tank. They're cut our losses. Nice, like my friends. <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Because I need answers. <laughs> you were our war slave. So you should know us descendants of Duran. You want me to talk? <laughs> Fine. Try whatever you want. But I assure you, you won't get anything from me. Only fangs and blood. If I were to do that, I wouldn't be any different from you. I am the arrow that pierces the wolf's heart. I grant you a swift death. <laughs> That's exactly what I desire. 
Wolves that leave the pack are prepared for the fate of never returning home. But sadly, you didn't catch my partner. He will alert them. Before you close your eyes, you should know that I allowed him to escape. Because he will lead the Cloud Knights to Hule's hideout. Is this how you leave one side open? You let that Borison escape so you could track him? This is the most common hunting tactic used by Borison. I know the methods of these abominations all too well. They always leave an escape route for their prey, allowing them to flee in fear. Then they chase them like it's a game. Borison get great satisfaction from the last struggles of their victims. Have you witnessed these things firsthand? That guy called you a war slave. What exactly have you experienced? Well, just a hazy past that I can barely recollect. Long ago, I was one of them. The word Borison was only used to refer to those wolf masters. I'm a Foxian who was born in one of the fallen territories. In their eyes, we're mere consumables. Cannon fodder used to slow down Sanjo attacks on the battlefield. But you survived. And not only that, you became the general of the Yao Cheng. If I get the chance, I'd love to hear stories of your past, General. Speaking of stories, you've reminded me that now is not the time for them. Wadza, we've sent the warning from Stargazer Navalia. What's the situation on your end? I found them. Zhao Cho is trying to stall Hule, and he signaled me to not reveal myself. Trust his judgment and keep watching. We'll be right there. I believe the warning we sent will stop Hule from attacking Stargazer Navalia. <sighs> what will he do next? The hunt is not over yet. Stay safe, Zhao Cho. Jo.